the Richmond Times Dispatch published the first part of an investigation into how the failures of our health department contributed to COVID-19's disproportionate impact on Latinos, who in the first two years of this pandemic were the group most likely to become infected, to be hospitalized, and to die. The paper found that three months into the pandemic, Latinos in Richmond were 38 times more likely to be infected than white residents, and 17 times more likely to be hospitalized. And then, a vaccine became available. VDH relied on Google Translate to convey life-saving information, resulting in an inaccurate translation of the vaccine is not necessary, instead of the, the vaccine is not required, to be posted to the VDH website for a month. A year later, the agency still does not track how many of its employees speak Spanish so they can help prevent this mistake from happening again. For two decades, Virginia has failed to properly fund this agency. We failed to invest in language access and bilingual community healthcare workers to do outreach to Spanish speakers. The results have been devastating, but are a surprise to no one. Virginia simply has not cared enough to invest in healthcare for our most vulnerable populations, many of whom were the frontline worker workers who power us through the pandemic.